Okay. Welcome to Officially Strong uh, with myself, Colin Bryce, uh, alongside me, dazzling Darren Sadler, uh, former world champion at 105 kilograms four times, world's strongest man competitor. Uh, five, yeah. <laughs> uh, and alongside him, perhaps the strongest man never to win the world's strongest man title. Only kidding. Uh, alongside Derek Poundstone. I'm joking. Vitalis <laughs> Lalas, Arnold Classic champion uh, a few years ago now. Yeah. And also yeah. in the same year, uh, won, uh, made, made himself onto the podium. Second place at World's Strongest Man. 2012. 2012. Yeah. In Los Angeles. Uh, so welcome, gentlemen, to Officially Strong. Welcome, everybody uh, watching worldwide. I reckon we're almost into double figures. <laughs> it's got a massive viewership. Uh, but we've got to start somewhere. And uh, we really fancy doing uh, strongman, uh, talking strongman, people are doing podcasts. But people all over the world enjoy the sport, and we certainly do. And uh, we've noticed with the rise of uh, uh, oral, all, all of the, the viral social uh, media outlets there that actually millions of people enjoy strongman. So uh, we thought we'd bring you uh, a little bit of chit chat. About an hour, maybe every few weeks, seeing if we can. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, let's kick off with what we've just seen recently, which is the World Deadlift Championships come Europe's Strongest Man. Now, uh, before we look at that, let's just have a little look about uh, Vitalis Lalas. Last time uh, we saw him at Europe's Strongest Man was last year. He came back with injury. Uh, in fact, he's been away hidden for a long time with injury. So let's just remind ourselves how good he was. Uh, the best achievements in Strongman is 2012 World Strongest Man second place, runner up, and 2013 Arnold Classic Strongman winner. What happened to you then? And then happened loads of things. I injured my back in 2013 in Europe's Strongest Man. And seasons then I can get back to my best. So you're, you're not going to compete until you're back to your best? Pretty much, yeah. I, if I'll go back competing if I'm going to be 100%. Uh, How frustrating is it to have been arguably the best in the world for a short period when you won the Arnolds and second at WSM to then have it ripped away? Uh, it's very frustrating because it's not an injury that is it's an easy fix and I was looking for an easy fix. And will it be the same man or better? Hopefully it's going to be better. He will be better. <laughs> <laughs> Vito, good to have you back, even if I can't spell your name at the last minute. Yes, you can't. <laughs> Keep making mistakes. Uh, That's very nice, of course. I'm, I'm terribly sorry, old boy. So, uh, tell me what you're doing here in, in HQ Giants Live anyway. What, what's the news? What's the news? Hmm. News is that I was injured for a good while now. Had some problems with my uh, back. And tried to recover after it, but... It's very slow recovery, so I uh, uh, came back to see Colin Bryce for advice and he directed me to a very good physio and we're doing the job now. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. See, maybe I'll be able to come back strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, what was it like having been at the very top of the world? Und undoubtedly, I'm teasing you earlier because I've been teasing them off camera in case you think I'm being mean to the Tautis. You know, for undoubtedly for a few months there you were number one in the world you won the Arnolds um, and you very you know very humbly have said Brian made mistakes and this and that yeah. but you know a lot of people would have ranked you at number one uh, and, and then it just sort of got torn away what was the big injury how did it first happen 
Uh, first, it happened when I was getting ready for Arnold Classic. I pulled my back a bit and I thought it's not a big deal. And I managed to damage the nerve as well. And then uh, in Arnold Classic, uh, when I pulled the, the record, Big Z's record, and I shifted my neck to the right. So then we got the same mistake like I did. And so it's all kicked in and uh, the back's muscle spasmed and uh, I didn't realize how bad it was until after a year I tried to come back into Arnold Class in 2014 and I couldn't do anything. So just to make it clear for people watching, yeah. it, when you lifted the weight, yeah. you turned your head yeah, while I the weight I turned my lifted. head to look at the ref who didn't give me the second lift in Arnold Class and to make sure that he's, he's, he's giving me the signal down. So I should have Who is that? Uh, I, uh, I uh, can't remember his name. <laughs> he's actually the nicest guy on the planet. Yeah, <laughs> Eddie Cohen. <laughs> yeah, probably what's him. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so that's it. And uh, so the neck, and then you have the lower back, obviously. And the lower like back, that, as well. SA joint, yeah. And uh, because it damaged my uh, lower back and the nerve as well, the the muscle, the glute muscle on my left side was sort of losing the strength and everything. And then in Europe's strongest man, I lifted 200 log and my hips just shifted. And my say joint went into a lock like, you know, and all the muscles just spasmed. Mm -hmm. And then in 2013, in the world's strongest man, after the heats, I uh, got a massage of the <laughs> masseuse and I couldn't stand at the table. And in the finals, I was going in with a big spasm in my back. And after that, it just got worse and worse. How old are you now? Hmm? How old are you? 33. 33. Yeah. So still plenty of plenty of years ahead. That's of what I hope. Yeah. I think I hope it's like five, six more years. And you've been over to, to Lithuania behind the Iron Curtain to get some no, special treatment. I was in Ireland in the mountains <laughs> trying to heal myself. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself anyway? You, you started a gym, right? Yeah, they did. They, they, they started a the new gym. It's in Kilkenny. It's not in Dublin. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going well at the moment. It's good. At least the guns are still looking. Yeah, the guns still good. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> you can always go to the bodybuilding office. Uh, uh, all goes yeah. wrong. Well, hopefully, we'll, we'll uh, get you back soon, eh? Yeah. Um, now, Darren, uh, let's just turn our attention backwards a little bit to well, World Deadlift Championships, Europe's strongest man in a weekend. I mean, it's it's almost just too much for someone to take in. Actually, it was just it was monstrous, wasn't it? Though for a moment or two. Uh, I mean, it, it didn't look like it might be going to plan. Eddie Hall skipping weights and, and, and you know, uh, <coughs> a few of the guys dropping out a little bit earlier than we thought. What was your assessment of the whole day? Well, I mean, you know, we, we put these shows on and you can set a show up and do the best job ever, mm. invite the best athletes, but mm. it all depends on, you know, which way the wind's blowing and they might think they're on form, they might not be on form. So you, you, you can have the best show in the world. It can be Arnold Classic, World Strongest Man, or a show in a pub car park. It can be just as exciting. Depends how, how, how things roll out. Um, Eddie, uh, obviously, was the favourite for the deadlift. Uh, Benny, Benny had got injured. We had Jerry Pritchard, who was obviously right up there. Um, Thor, who pulled uh, the fourth biggest deadlift in the world. No one was expecting that, certainly not mm -hmm. me. Thor's in most people's opinion, a 420 kilo lifter usually. Yeah. Uh, we've never had any other twice evidence. He's done that, yeah. He's done that twice yeah. and made it look, you know, not that easy. And all of a sudden he pulls 450. You know, yeah. who would have thought of that? 30 kilo jump. And then Eddie uh, pulled, uh, you know, a couple of warm up lifts and then said, right, we'll go for a world record. Yeah. And, he, and he disappeared off around the corner on his own and, and, and yeah. obviously got himself in a good place. A lot of people thought he'd sort of lost it a little bit. He's gone off. What, what, what's wrong with him? Where's he gone? And I, I think it was his own way of just getting himself where he needed to be. People thought he'd maybe, you know, his head had gone a little bit, but mm. obviously not. Mm. I think he just needed to take himself away from where he was, get himself in that place. And, you know, he came out and did it. Simple as that. Mm. Um, you know, different people have different ways of getting himself motivated and ready. That was his way. Get himself out of there. He had, uh, he had a couple of his, you know, mentors around there, um, you know, giving him a slap around the head or whatever, and it worked well for him, I think. Well, what's your take on Eddie Hall? Obviously, you've been kind of sitting on the sidelines for a while now. Um, that guy is a beast, the beast. 
<laughs> and it's the correct word to describe him. Uh, when I saw his deadlift, I was like, that's just easy. I thought he can do 480, 490 that day. And I, didn't, mm. I don't know why he hadn't done that, but that's his reason why there's reasons why he hadn't done that. But that was the easiest for And Tor surprised me probably the most. Mm. I was expecting from Eddie the world record, mm -hmm. but Tor was the, just amazing. I thought he, who, who but Tor won't gonna get it. I thought uh, Andy Bolton will probably get 450, but not Tor, and he surprised us all, I think. I thought probably Andy Bolton, and uh, I, th I thought Thor would pull 420, like he always seems to do. Yeah. I thought Andy Bolton and Jerry would be the sort of going for second place. Mm. Jerry is good, but I think he's guy who can pull 435 easy, mm. but then 450, it's uh, mm. because the way he deadlifts, mm. he just all the hips and lower back, he doesn't really use as much of the leg drive like uh, Eddie does and um, Thor does as well. Thor, he changed his technique probably a couple of years ago when it comes to deadlift, mm. and it works pretty good for him. Mm. His, mm -hmm. his stance is a more narrow. And he uses more legs from the floor when he has to lift the weight, and I think it's working pretty well for him. I mean, some guy thought, wasn't he, with the fourth yeah. biggest deadlift in history, and with his height, his height. Well, and yeah. also he went on to win Europe's Strongest Man as well. You know, he had all that to do. He he, he, he gave everything in that deadlift, yeah. which he did to do it, and, and then he went on to win the show. And it was an easy win for him. Mm. Yeah, sort of he dominated everybody, and he just, in my opinion, he destroyed everybody. And even things like you know. He, there's obviously there's a lot of legs involved in deadlift and he's the only man who could finish the car walk. You know, the car was yeah. you know, genuinely yeah. like, genuine like 4, mm. 30, 4, 40 and it wasn't the easiest of things to do with him being so big. He still did it after doing a 450 deadlift, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just have a, a little reflection uh, towards uh, one of the lifters who, who didn't win. Obviously, uh, Andy Bolton was one of the guys who, who we expected to be right up there. We interviewed him beforehand. We felt his training was going perfectly. He's a, he's a scientist of the sport as well as a student of the sport. He knows a great deal, doesn't he? I mean, you know him well. I mean, Andy's, Andy's a technician, and the way he lifts is, is very technical. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, he's still very, very strong. I mean, what's happened, obviously, you've got... Uh, for, for a while, you had Benny pulling the big lifts, Andy Bolton, you know? And what's happened is, basically, people are joining him now, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You've got people like Jerry, like Thor, like Eddie Hall that are getting up towards the 450s and above mark um, whereas there was just sort of a couple of them in the world and that was it and I think people are because the sport's evolving so much there's more people coming into it people are actually you know managing to do it for a living and uh, not, not have to go do a day job they've earned enough money out of it to do it so there's more people pulling that sort of weight um, Andy Bolton, what is he, 46 six years old? He's 64. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think what people sometimes forget with anybody, that, that show, you know, everybody pulled over 400 kilos. I think some people forget how heavy 400 kilos is. Who's pulling 400 kilos? Not I, I mean, I, mean I, I can remember 1996, Marissa's being a, a little equipment boy at the side watching and being stunned when the bad horse... Helen Badenhorst pulled four ten kilos to, to win the contest there, and he surprised himself. You know that was back when the, the you know the IPF deadlift world record had just crawled over. But Kazmar four oh three, he said, and funny enough, asking him in the car, he said his mountain was to get over nine hundred pounds, um, and and then when he was at the top of the mountain, as it were, looking back down, he never thought of a thousand pounds. He thought it impossible. So Andy Bolton, very much a legend, still hit a pretty big number. 46 years old, Andy Bolton from Leeds, and he's done 46, make that 47, 900 pounds competition lifts. Well done Andy Bolton. Think about it now. Um, cloud nine somewhere. Um, amazing show again. Um, my performance, um, 420 kilo pull. Um, I, I'm, I went into there thinking top five, top three, top five. I got fourth. Uh, 420 is 20 kilos more than last year. I find it uncomfortable being down there for so long. Um, but 420 is the most I pulled in two years. So on a, on a whole, I'm, I'm happy with that. And with Eddie Hall and these guys young and the, the strong now that they're animals. It's hard for me to compete with them, them guys at that level right now. Um, but I'm happy with what I did. 420 pull is a, still a big deadlift. Um, 
fourth place what can i say it's an amazing show and it's just it's great to be part of it all how would you how would you have changed your training looking back would you have done anything different did you think you missed a trick any mistakes it's not it's not yeah it's, it's a good pull 420 but it's, it's not up there with the big boys um as far as training goes i don't think i did I all think it is, is lack of competition deadlifts over 424, 30. Like in the old days, the old days when I was pulling the big, big numbers, I was pulling 440 regular every time I went out and it was comfortable. Um, so them sort of weights in your body, you know, your body got used to that sort of pull. Now over 420, it's tough for me, I'm getting a little older. Um, but the training were perfect, the speed were fast, it was fast. I was shocked, I thought I was going to be a bit stronger on the day. Um, the training went perfectly. Um, I timed it right. It just one of them things, you know. It's no, no excuses. It's just um, it was tough on the day. Well, what was it? What was it like stepping out in front of the crowd and at least oh. putting in a better performance this year? You must have felt like you, you walked away. Yeah. On, on, you, you seem much happier this year. Yeah. It's it's amazing that that crowd. You walk out there and the goosebumps and the just. I've never felt all like it. It's it's amazing. It's it's amazing. But this year, I can honestly say, I'd, I'd watch it on TV this year, and I'd be happy to watch it on TV this year. Last year, I tried to avoid it at all costs. This year, fourth place, 420, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. What's your thoughts on, on, on Eddie? I mean, when you watch that poll, I must admit, I, felt, I got a kind of funny feeling like he wasn't going to do it just before it. But what, what, were you, what were your thoughts and, and how, do you, how do you see his pull go up? Yeah, it's, it was smooth pull 463. There were no hitching, there were no stopping. It would just start to finish. It looked comfortable. It looked like about a 90% pull. There were those more there. Um, how, how much did Eddie do? We don't know. Um, but to be honest, Eddie might have been stronger last year. Now, people say he's lift last year compared to this year. But remember last year? He did two pulls at 435, he did 400, 420, two at 435, 446, and then 461. Mm. This year, Eddie only did 380, 420, 463. He did half the amount of pulls than last year. So, uh, you know, it's hard to... Did he take advice on you there? I mean, I must admit, when I saw that, you know, you know what my gut <coughs> feeling was? I thought Eddie was just trying to give the crowd a thrill and he wasn't going to do a, a record. I thought maybe he was, he was something was wrong with him. It was so unstrongman like. Yeah. Strongman like is usually grind out every rep. The but way Eddie did it was powerlifting style. Yes. That's the way I'd have done it. That's yes. exactly the way I'd have done it if I were a powerlifter yeah. um, competing in the powerlifting arena. But I thought Eddie were going to pull out. Honestly, I didn't think he would do that last lift. Yeah, so that. I thought he was injured or he wasn't quite in great shape. I thought we were waiting to see what everybody else did if he needed to pull that. But it came from nowhere. Yeah. He was walking backstage again, he suddenly got on, he got on and he, he was cramping, his legs were shaking, but he still pulled it. Did you see, did you see the close-up of his legs his shaking? His legs were shaking that a lot. That was bizarre, wasn't yeah. it? What is that? Is that just, just adrenaline. Just sheer adrenaline. I mean, I, oh, my hands shake, my hands shake, my arms and legs shake. Yeah. It's just, you so up for it, but your whole body's just, it's like, it's, it's hard to control. What's that, what's that feeling like pulling a world record? You, you know it, oh, you know it a couple yeah, of times. I've done it a few times. <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing, it's like, I think Eddie's, when I did mine, it was like shock. You've pulled it, but all that work you've put into it, you know you can pull it, but when you actually do it, you're like, have I done it? You stood there, I've done it, it's a thousand pounds. And you don't sink in for weeks, weeks after that. Eddie, Eddie wouldn't know what happened, mm. I don't believe, until a few days after, mm. or a week after, then it hits him. on Warrior back on the platform again, what happened out there today? You, you couldn't quite manage to do 435 there, obviously the earlier weights went up easy. Yeah. You know what, Polly? I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> four, 420 felt okay, but that felt like it would go to the floor. It just felt like it <laughs> Welcome back to Officially Strong, and we're kind of hoping you can hear us. This is the first ever Officially Strong show. Uh, so if you're online, send a quick message back to uh, James, our man behind at the scenes here. Uh, he's got a face for radio, so he's not loud in front of the camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can hear us. He's get, are you getting thumbs up around the world? I think he's better now. <laughs> okay. The millions of viewers around the world say thumbs up. Hey, thanks to everyone who is watching. Seriously, it's... Uh, we're just trying these things. Uh, Vitalis is here, Darren's down. We just thought we'd give it a go. We're kind of hoping to do these kind of things in the future, so hopefully you're back. Just come back with ideas, tell us what to do. I mean, I was thinking probably we start covering small contests around the world like this. We could do a whole section on that. I mean, who knows? Um, please let us know. Uh, if you want to get uh, in touch with me, at Giants Live WSM, I'm not so good on Twitter. Uh, Chris, Chris, 
<laughs> Social media, Chris, who you can't see off screen is our guru, Chris. What's the best way to get in touch with us? Today? Best way to get in touch with us would be on Facebook or Instagram. Facebook or Instagram. Um, yeah, the official Strongman Facebook yeah, yeah. was kind of crap for a while, but now we've got Super Chris, who uh, definitely has a face for telly. We'll have to bring him out soon. Um, so, hey, this is Eddie Hall. Boom! 463 kilograms. Uh, it's going up a kilo at a time. Benny, you've got the inside track with Benny, he's your mate, uh, is he going to be coming back? Yeah, I mean, Benny was disappointed he couldn't compete this year, um, and I don't know, I mean, I wouldn't like to put any money on who would win out of those two, because Eddie pulled the 463 like it was nothing, you know, it's only small amounts. Um, I wouldn't like to put any money on it, but the, the main thing is, Benny wants to get it on again, Eddie's obviously always up for it, so I mean next year we'll get them back together and see, uh, and who knows by then, you know, there's going to be someone else up there maybe in the in the running for it, uh, yeah, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> we'll but, see how it goes. You know, I mean as far as, as far as what can Eddie pull, obviously, obviously he can pull more than he pulled, uh, you know, yeah. you take, you know, it, it wasn't his maximum deadlift, although it was the most weight ever lifted, it wasn't his maximum deadlift. Uh, and, and Benny as well, I mean, Benny's pulled 460, so easy, uh, but, you know, I mean, Benny just needs to get himself, himself up for it, get himself motivated, uh, obviously he's had, he had the, the, the quad tear, he's recovered from that now, um, and, and nothing motivates somebody like losing a world record, I would imagine, you know? mm, so mm. who knows, you know, uh, even, but, even Benny, even Benny, yeah. <laughs> well, in general, Benny still have the world record, because he pulled that one without the straps, Yeah. You know? He still has it. I think. But it's what we what we call the role world record. Yeah, yeah, record. yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, yeah. We're, because a strong man, and you, you have to have straps. You have to have because straps. Because of six events. So yeah. but, you know. But the, in the raw thing, like he still holds the record. Yeah. And probably with in the right shape, he can pull close to what Eddie will pull. I right. think so. It'd be really interesting to see, you know. And he has that built for that, you know. Yeah. But you heard the rumors what Eddie's pulled in training. What? And not just his wire. <laughs> He's pulled four eighty. 470 was it? 480 is what I think he's some sort of 480. I, mean, I almost can't believe. Yeah, but I mean, it's got to be believable with, that, with how he pulled that, you know. Yeah. It's got to be believable. Well, I mean, I, I don't suppose Eddie Hall will be tuning in to watch this. He's probably hanging out with Arnold Schwarzenegger or, or one of his new celebrity mates. I'm sure, it would be nice to talk to him sometime. Uh, let's have a little look back at that world record and what a day it was. <laughs> He's look, a monster, isn't it? Look at that presence. The confidence in him. He knows he's got this. He owns the platform. That's his weight. That's his record. I think there's little doubt. Come on! Come on, Eddie! World record! Here we go. He's going to drive with the legs. It's coming up! It's coming up! Yes! Eddie Hall with a world record! I didn't even look hard. He's got more in there. He's got a lot more in there. 463 kilos made to look easy by the beast Eddie Hall. Standing ovation from Kazmaier himself for the beast Eddie Hall. Well, I mean, you can watch that all day long. 463 kilograms. Of course, uh, he did uh, 462 kilograms in front of Arnold Schwarzenegger back in Australia. Uh, 461, Benny did 460. He says 500 is possible, and it's one of those things where it just might be possible. Funny enough, I, I, someone wrote in and said, uh, why do these organizers keep putting up only by one kilogram? Well, it's kind of one of those things where uh, Darren, why do you only put it up by one kilogram? I mean, I'm guessing. Listen, I'll tell, I'll tell you what we do. No, no, I mean, what we do, as, as you know, but obviously not everybody's uh, behind the scenes, we discuss this with the athletes the night before. You know, as simple as that. We don't just, we don't just say, oh, this is what it is. Mm. We, we look what the athletes are lifting, um, and there's no point in us saying, right, we're going to go from 
450 to 470 and Eddie saying well I don't, I, I don't know how to do 470 mm. so, so we, we leave, when, when it gets down to the nitty gritty of it if Eddie Hall wanted 470 putting on the bar would he put it on the bar <laughs> but you know he, he's wanting to play it safe and get the world record you know um, and, and, and obviously uh, if, if, if someone else was in there to, to push him like Benny for instance or you know whoever it might be in the future or maybe nobody he might have had to go to 470 but the fact of it is, there was nobody there that was going to lift that weight other than him that day. So I think uh, it's not a matter of... It, 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 I don't think he was playing it safe. I mean, how can you say a world record deadlift is not playing it safe, you know? It's the most weight ever lifted. But I think if there's no one there to push you, why not Why not wait and hope keep it in the bag for when, when you need to, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I guess it's one of those things, I mean, you know better than anyone, Batatas. I mean, how long do you think your, your window of opportunity would be, you know... I mean, we're, we're going to get you back in shape. Yeah. For number one. Yeah. I mean, that's that's that's, that's uh, we're yeah. pals, and that's why you're here. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. <laughs> in Bahus. Yeah. It's, uh, and, and here, if you say you to know? yourself that you're going to get back into strongman, you will going to get back. If you're over here in your head, you're going to say, right, I won't be back. But I mean, what what what, you, what you've seen? I mean, you were still cheated. You probably see at the moment. Yeah. Three or four years, a lot of guys get big Z with his deal with the devil. He's he's had twenty years at the top. I mean, uh, Daz, how long did you have at the top? Did you really feel top of your game? A few years? I mean, I started competing when I was 18, but really, I started doing Britain's Strongest Man the first time in 2002. Uh, and I competed right through to, you know, just a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but probably in really good shape, the world's strongest man, uh, I don't know, I probably had like five, five or six years, you know, where I, where I felt like I was, you know, I could run through a brick wall. Mm -hmm. But you know, as you get older, you know, you've got to train differently. I don't even think. I don't think you get. I don't. I don't think you. you the strength wise, I think you can be as strong uh, right yeah, into your forties. Yeah, um, but it's uh, the, the, the stamina and the and the uh, the rest you need more of it. Mm -hmm. and, and and to to get fit, you've got to work at it. Whereas when you're in your twenties, I was just fit in my twenties. I don't know about you. I was just fit, and that was it. I think my body changed when I uh, sort of. Turn thirty. That's that's exactly what I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just everything changes. You sort of have to look after yourself a bit more. Yeah. You have to relax a bit more. A bit more resting. You're not as reckless in the training. You have to be smart with your training. I think that's what sort of Big Z did it as well, and that's why he's so successful in what he does for such a long time, because he always sort of rests and he picks for the right competition, the right time, and he picks the right competition as well. You know, so I think. Nowadays it's a bit harder for him and for everybody else because the weights and the standard of strong is so high. So you sort of always have to be in peak in order to compete, you know, and to do well. I mean, I think as well, well when I first did World Strongest Man, I was 25 and everyone said, oh, you must look after yourself and all that. I never wore any straps, I never wore any anything. I wore a little belt that was rubbish, I didn't wear a decent yeah. belt. Now, I think that um, there's a lot more help, yeah. a lot more supports. Yeah. The, the, the physiotherapy is better, people know more about keeping in yeah, shape. Yeah, that's it. the thing, That's and you have to get all these proper belts, proper straps, proper elbow sleeves, all that gear that supports your joints and tendons, mm -hmm. because that's very important. <coughs> you think it's more important when you go you. as well, that's it, you won't be able to compete, you know. Well, I mean, the thing is, you know, the, the young guys, and I say I did it, and probably you did it as well, they didn't use them when they were young, possibly, you know, yeah. should, should they be using it when they're young? Well, I, I tell you what, I mean, the, my big question for you, Vitalis and Darren, is, uh, uh, get rid of the logo, oh, the gag will never work, will Eddie Hall win World's Strongest Man, baby, here he is, you're about, hopefully you're not too far behind or something weird like that, can you, uh, can you hear us, Ed? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this right up so you can hear it, there we are, try speaking now. Yeah, I'm all good, man, I can hear you. Hey, I'll turn it down a little bit. Dude, we're just discussing whether you're going to win World's Strongest Man or not. What's the news? You, uh, when I am. Yeah. Or, 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 or are you? We thought you might be hanging out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're, we're very lucky to have you here. Thank you very much. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I can see Lalas in the background there. Yeah, I can see your big head as well. Hey. What's up? You, is, your head, is your head grown or has your body got smaller? No, no, no. My <laughs> biceps got bigger. You see? Uh, 
Uh, good it? to see you, mate. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, yeah. Good to hear your voice as well. Big head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you keeping that? What have you been up to? Uh, nothing much, mate, today. Just uh, been eating, doing physio. A um, bit of hot cold treatment, a bit of stretching off. That, that's Wednesday done for me. Nice one. Cool. Nice one. And how, how about your uh, how about your competition schedule ahead of you? What, what do you think you might do competition wise in the next twelve months? When when do you think people could see you? Um, I've got the UK strongest man next week in Ireland, uh, and then I'm pretty much done for the year, mate. To be honest, I just want to get my head down and uh, train as hard as I can for World Strongest Man 2016. You know, I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got an underlying feeling it might be my year, so I really want to give it the best shot. Yeah, brilliant. Hey, what, what do you think you could have pulled that day? When, when you did 4.63, obviously it went up quicker than the previous year. It went up quicker than when you did it in front of Arnold. I mean, what, what was your inkling? Was, it, was that your best shape ever? Uh, by no means, you know. I went to Europe in, in rather poor shape, to be honest. Um, nowhere near a peak. But it just—it just—it's just one of those things, you know. You get the—you get the adrenaline right, and you get it at the right time. You can pretty much pull any weight you want, uh, and that's pretty much what happened on the day. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, have you seen Robert Oberst has copied your haircut? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Go have a look at Instagram, dude. He looks exactly like you. <laughs> no way. I'll have to check that out. Uh... You, you're his hero now. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, they say you know you want to be like the best, you might as well copy it. Oh, <laughs> uh, good stuff. Oh, Eddie, I mean, I mean, you know, I guess, I guess, last thoughts. You know, uh, uh, what are you thinking about uh, in terms of you know the opposition next next year? How do you see the sort of the the big names? You know, do, do you see some guys going down, some going up? Are there any new names you can see be mixing it? Uh, a world's strongest man next year, which I guess is for those who don't know, it, it does actually happen not that far away. It's not next Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, I can see Lalas in the back there nodding his head. So obviously he's got some big plans to uh, Thank make you. a bit come back and, uh, and and show his fat head on TV. So yeah, that's very nice. You got my chance to like Lalas. Yeah, I'm not going to snag your big head anymore. Uh, obviously you've got Brian to Junior's four. Um, I, I quite fancy, you know, they've got the young guys like uh, uh, Belsak from uh, is it Lithuania, where's he from? Latvia? No. Slovenia. Slovenia, come on. Slovenia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slovakia. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just Belsak from Slovenia. <laughs> you know, that guy, as long as he doesn't injure himself, that guy could do some serious damage at World's Strongest Man. He's so young, you know, I, I'm generally uh, sort of excited to see how well he can do. Uh, I can, I'm pretty sure he can push a few of the big boys. Um, and then obviously got the likes of myself that are coming along, and I'm you know I've quit. This is my life now. I've quit my job to be the world's strongest man. So this is my whole dedication. You know, this this is coming first. There's my you know putting family aside some days to, to go for my ambition of being the world's strongest man. So this is this is it. So people have been asking about different things, diet and training, and I guess you know we need a couple hours to go over things, but. What are you going to do now in the off season? What I mean, are you going to, uh, maybe people don't know. I mean, it's a quite well known story, but Eddie was a British record holder as a swimmer when he was younger. Is that the kind of stuff you do in the off season, or or do you do you just keep big and strong all year round? Uh, me and myself, I, I just hate to get bigger and stronger. Um, I'm sitting about 27 stone, 10 pounds at the minute. I want to get up to about 28, 28 and a half stone uh, for next year's World Strongest Man. Uh, I want to be fit with it as well and mobile. You know, I don't want to be sort of, you know, sort of come in and stupidly strong but unable to move. So I'm doing a hell of a lot of mobility, loads of yokes, farmers, running with sandbags. So, you know, this is becoming a sort of part of my training now for, you know, I'm doing it two or three times a week, really hard. So there the, the, the basically is no downtown for Eddie Hall, you know. If anything, this is probably the hardest time of my career is, is the off season. Good for you, Max. You're still hungry as hell. And I guess, uh, I think it's fair to say, a lot of people will see the two rising stars as you and Thor. Um, I mean, Thor, did he shock you a little bit with that 450 deadlift? That he, and then, of course, you tried to then match him in the medley. Uh, the yeah. <laughs> he went mad in that, to so show you could sprint and you were fit. I mean, you, you know, it was extraordinary what Thor did in the deadlift, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, honestly, you know, I, did, I generally didn't think Thor was going to get anywhere near that on the day. I, I, I thought he was going to do pull 435 from how he... How he uh, Sort of portrayed himself at Will Strong's man. You know his deadlift at Will Strong's man was phenomenal. 
So I knew we had 435, and to, but to pull that 450 off, that was that was that was, that was amazing. Um, you know, I was talking to Ford before him, and he was really nervous. And Ford was like, you know, sort of arm shakingly nervous. He, you know, he got himself in his deadlift suit, and he did, genuinely didn't know if he was going to pull well or pull or not pull at all. But obviously, this buying this, you know, the new deadlift suit worked for him really well. It just made me realise that maybe I need to get my hands on the suit in order to go that little bit further, further forward of the deadlift. Great stuff. Oh, what is uh, any more questions, fellas? All good? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Any? About apart from his head, no. I think it's kind of... <laughs> Colin, have you got a, have you got a tape measure handy there now? Yeah, I don't say. Do you have Do you have tape measure? Ah, I do. I have, 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 have to have a tape measure. No, that's I, I have one right here. Right? I want right to see here, your right? head measured as well. Yeah. Right. Are you ready? No, no. Let's first do his head. Do your head first. No, no. no hey, I'm still trust Eddie. He'll video it. No, no, no. Come on, then. Come on, then. Hang on then, boost to this. <laughs> okay, let's do this. All right, ready? Help me here, help me here now. And then right. around the cheeks right, as you, well. Right, you, you hold the bit there, right? Ready? Hang Jesus on. Christ, that's not Okay, good. ready? All right, all the way around. Bring it around there. That's, oh, here we go. that's not going to be right. What do you mean it's not going to be right? So, hang on. Two, you haven't got a bigger split. No, we need a bigger split. Hang on, okay, right, ready? And. Two, four. 20. No, no, it's bigger than that. Look, 24, almost 24 and three quarter inches. Oh, that's like my biceps. That's like my biceps. That's like my biceps. That's, his, the, that's like like my biceps. That's exactly the size of my biceps. So it's, it's, it's proportioned, you know what I mean? It, yes, it is. How oh, it's not. You look like a lollipop. No. no. Who, who's look like a lollipop? Let's ask the viewers. Who looks like a lollipop right now? With the beard. Lollipop with the beard. Anyway, uh, uh, Colin's going to cut me off now, so I'll see you later, Lollipop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, 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 Eddie! Yeah. Oh, baby! Nice, you. Dude. nice to see you, man. Good to have you there. See you later. Cheers, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Uh, thanks to Eddie. And uh, now we're going to uh, move forward to uh, what we're doing in uh, the future. What's coming up? What is... I guess we'll mention a little bit about... Uh, uh, officially strong the program, but official strongman or official strongman.com. What we're up to, and hopefully, uh, try and maybe help you guys understand a little bit more about our thought process there in reality to try and make this community, make this sport, make everything march on a lot more. What is one of the most basic human instincts? Strength. Who's the strongest man in the world? Well, we've uh, set something up where you can be ranked, officialstrongman.com. If you don't know anything about it, or, or if you've seen a few messages, well, uh, and just ignore them, basically, you can go onto a website now, and you can compete, first of all, in Deadlift Max. Very basic, the king of all lifts. Eddie, of course, uh, wearing the crown, he's the top man. Benny Magnuson's involved, Andy Bolton, all the way down. My poor old wife's involved, she's managed to pull 70 odd kilos. Uh, and Darren, let me just turn to you for a second, because uh, I mean you, you're you're the ideas man. He might not look like an ideas man, but he is an ideas man, believe it or not. Um, tell tell me, you, you're thinking about that there could be a very big World Dead Dead of Championships next year, right? Yeah, I mean, what 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 we're planning is uh, through the official strongman site is to find. Obviously, Eddie's the world deadlift champion, mm. but to find a world deadlift champion in all the weight mm. categories. So the idea of the site is you can upload your uh, your deadlifts. That's one one side of the site. Upload your deadlifts, uh, and then the top few from each category next year, all weight categorised, obviously, um, and age categorised, will get invited to to a championships, um, which will be a day long show. Um, and, it, and, it, and also, I mean, th th it's for anybody. You can put any of your, your different videos up there, all of your different mm. lifts. Um, but there'll be different competitions. Also, there'll be a few fun lifts on there. We've been trying to think of a few fun things that will be changing on, a, on, a, on a, a few weekly basis. Just fun things for you to try that are all um, strongman based. Well, I mean, the, the, the one we're probably going to be releasing soon, we still haven't quite figured it out. So please get in touch with us uh, on, the, on the Facebook site, Official Strongman. Um, if you've been on there, there's deadlift max, there's bench press for reps, which we have to get battalions to do with their big guns of his. What would you do body weight bench for reps? What are you, 135, 300 pounds? No less, no less. 290, 285? 280 probably. What would you do for reps for that? I have no idea to be honest. Never tried, I'll try it. 
uh, maybe 200. <laughs> you never know. No, maybe 80%. <laughs> maybe, maybe 90%. Maybe yeah, 90%. yeah. Well, we're going to get Zhishtov Radzikovsky next uh, month in Poland. But he kind of scoffed at doing body weight. He wanted to do 500 pounds for reps. And reckon he'd do maybe 15. <laughs> it's just... Well, it. Insane. So, yeah, we're not... You know, we're, we're overhead anyhow. It's the third event we popped up there. It is down as a clean and jerk at the moment. We're going to change that into axle and clean and jerk. Uh, and we're going to chuck up some log parameters as well. Uh, write to us. Give us your ideas. Tell us how we can make this better. Because, you know what? We want people around the world to take part. Whether you're in Bangladesh... Or, or whether you're in Baltimore, if you're over 70, you're, you're under 70 kilos, whatever. So people should take part in, in you know, what is uh, a functional strength sport. And that's what strongman is, you know. Have you said that? Looking at us cripples here. <laughs> uh, soon to be functional strength athlete again. Um, I mentioned this. Darren is... Functional. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, the site, yeah. the site's uh, up there for you to take a look at. There's a few people got on there. It's like a, a dry run that we've had, but it's going to be fully functional. So you'll be able to upload your videos within James a week or so. One week. About one week, and then anybody can go on and upload your videos. And, 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 and we'll be watching as well from a promoter's point of view. So if there's any talent out there, or you just, or you can, you know. If you're 70 kilos and you think your bench is good, bang it up there. Even if you don't think you can qualify for these things, it's just a bit of fun. And and uh, also, as I say, these fun things that will be coming every few weeks, which will keep an interest in your training. The one thing that we did last week, which I had got myself, was uh, was how much weight can you deadlift in 30 mm. seconds. So you pick whichever weight you want. Obviously, you know you need to think about it. Total, to total tonnage. Total tonnage. Yeah. So you don't pick too heavy a weight. And just no, it needs to be something you can keep going with for 30 seconds. Um, what did you do? Well, I, I, I think I picked a little bit light because I, I went for 200 kilos, which I did 16 times. Four, four forty 440 pounds. Yeah, in, in, in 30 seconds, but I, but I, I didn't stop. Uh, I think I should have done a little bit more, maybe towards the 250. So 15 reps, 200 kilos, that is, uh, help me out here. 16, I think you said. 3,200 kilos. Where's Dave Austin when you need him? 3,200 kilos times 2.2 is... It's a whole lot of, a whole lot of pounds. <laughs> like 700... Sorry, 7,000 pounds or something? 7, Close to it. Anyway, 7,040. Well done, Chris. Um, so there you go. So that's what Darren did. Just as uh, a tester, you know? Just as a tester. I mean, I could do a whole lot more than that. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. But we're going to do... We're going to start chugging challenges out there. And eventually, I mean, uh, Der Meister plan is that not only can you come to what will be a massive World Dead of Championships uh, weekend in Leeds, that's right, everyone alongside, hopefully this man will be back for the main one. Uh, we're going to have all the cannabis there. You'll be able to fly in, get involved, compete. If you're inside the top 10, top 20, let us know what, what it should be. Weight cannabis, everything's up on the site. Um, you know, we're going to be doing logs soon. Don't, don't think we're ignoring the proper strongman events. They're going to come. We just have to be fair to everyone worldwide who doesn't have the kids. I mean, it's, it's key to make this sport grow, to get someone from, you know, people from Colombia or people from wherever, India, people who, who, who only have a bar and weights, and that's the plan. Because, sure, strongman can be done with just a bar and weights. Why not? Uh, who's the strongest? Pick that bar up. So. You can also, on your profile, upload anything random. If you've done something that you think's good, you know, you know, a 200-kilo farmer's walk or something crazy or, a, you know, a... A hundred kilo farmers walk for a hundred meters or whatever. You can put that up there as well in your own profile. So even if you just think it's worth watching, you can put it up there. And obviously, there's set things that we'll be we'll be watching for as well that we will be saying. Well, listen, we won't bang on about it too much. Uh, keep your eyes out, and and we're we're setting up a, a series of you know what do you call it a gym locator. A gym locator will be on the site. So. Uh, we're going to be speaking to, I mean, the likes of, if you know the name, Dion Wessels in the USA, who's involved with NAS, and, uh, you know, all, all of those uh, gyms that are involved around the world. I mean, we're very much open to all promotions and all federations because ultimately we just want to find the world's strongest man. And indeed, uh, the people at the Arnolds, the other massive organisation, Strongman, they're very much behind this as well. So... Uh, please get in at the infancy. Say you were there early on, 
uh, and it'd be nice to see on the site. Um, right, what else is coming up in the future? Uh, from, I mean, big time shows. Uh, Darren and I obviously have other duties for helping organize Giants Live. Uh, we've got one coming up in Poland where Zhishtof's going to have our bench. And we see this new kid uh, from the Arnolds, who I'm not going to make you say his name. Uh, no, the guy who came third at the Arnolds, the Polish guy, um, he, was, uh, he, blew, he blew me away really because he didn't look like he was going to do very well. He won the Arnolds amateurs a year before, which got him into the pros. And uh, he ended up coming third, which was, uh, you know, he, the guys hadn't even competed. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see how he goes against everyone else from Poland, the top yeah. guys, and also uh, quite a few other good professionals as well. Yeah. Um, but I, I was quite excited about what he did, to be honest with you, because he's, uh, he didn't look like he could do that. Crazy amount of poles, though. I mean, you, you've got Rafa Kovalarz, you, you've got Zsega Zemanski, Poland's strongest man, who's just beaten uh, Big Z, uh, Mateusz Baron, uh, the world's largest Tom Cruise look-alike. Uh, I mean, you got some serious. Um, you know, you got some serious strength there. And, and Rajkowski doesn't even have to compete because he's already qualified. So, uh, you know, he's came second in Europe's strongest man. He's, you know, he's got his golden ticket to the worlds. Um, I mean, that's amazing what that young Paul did coming to the Arnolds and finishing third. I can remember another young kid coming to his first international, full of big boasts in a Polish car park. I mean, That's right. yeah, 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 who's that this? That was a good story, wasn't <laughs> who's it? Who's this guy who's, who's turned up? Guy? Where's Blakaitis? Uh, where is Blakaitis? Where's Blakaitis? This isn't Blakaitis. That's not, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Where's the hair? Yeah. That's what we paid for. Anyway, I remember this guy came along and you were there that day, weren't you, yeah, in Poland? Yeah, yeah, so, you know, you don't always have to come in slowly. You can come in with a bang. You should kind of spook to everyone. I was sort day. of lucky when it comes to that. I came in in a bang in Giants Live. My first show, Arnold Classic, bang winner. I yes. think who else done that? You Big won Z. your you won your first Arnold. Yeah, my that was goodness. my first Arnold, and I won that. But look at me now. Because <laughs> you then did you did the next year. I did the next year, yeah. yeah but I always uh, was already mm. injured. I was going in with an injury and uh, mm. with the back problems, and I finished fourth. I think a point behind Mike Burke. Mm. And I was already, and then sort of it kicked in properly after that. And they tried to compete in Europe's strongest man, mm. tore my uh, hamstring. Mm. And then I was, that's when I said, I have to get myself better. Mm. Otherwise, what's the point to compete, you know? Mm. Mm. So, but Giants like Poland was fun. I mm. like Poland because I, how many times I competed in Giants Live, I always win. Before 2013 as well. Yeah. It was Harlem. Oh, it's yeah. uh, the festival, the yeah, rock festival. Yeah, the festival, festival yeah. I managed yeah, to yeah, 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 well, you did. Yeah. Good guys, I was on Misha, Martin. Misha, yeah, Martin was there. Good dudes, my other top Misha balls. even finished only fourth, I think, in that competition. You guys got to go up on stage and... Yeah. Oh, you, you have no idea what this yeah, is. It's yeah. Woodstock, yeah. And, and, it's, and it's not the real Woodstock, but it's far, far bigger. It's like, it's like half... It's something ridiculous, it's, it's like half a million. Is it half a million people? So 500,000 people. It's the biggest concert in the world yeah. or something. Yeah. And these guys all got to, got to go up to the yeah. main stage. Yeah. And then Misha. Yeah. Hey, hey. 500,000 people. Yeah, yeah, only Misha would, yeah. would, would like a rock star grab yeah. the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just unbelievable. The picture snap. And, uh, good memories. Sadly, I wasn't there. And then, of yeah. course, you got carried away in, in a Cadillac for winning it. <laughs> we won't go into that story. No, we? no. We'll, we'll leave that there. It wasn't as bad, but it was bad enough, you know. Because of the heat, that was a bit uncomfortable to be in the van. Yeah. Another twenty strong. <laughs> yeah, I think I think European farming commissioners would have would have uh, yeah. sued yeah, <laughs> the right, organisers yeah, yeah. for jamming yeah. twenty strong men into a into an airless truck no windows uh, to get them out of there crazy stuff I think we've got some questions coming in uh, hopefully we do anyway but one of the other events we're going to look forward to is Sweden November 28th and we have the star of stars in Scandinavia uh, Johannes Urcha who will be competing there again last year he had to deal with Brian Shaw well I mean who could beat Brian Shaw last year uh, Johannes coming second. It was the rise of Martin Forsmark and indeed Adam Bishop of the UK, who uh, is a possible massive star in Strongman. He's got a big frame, so too Forsmark. 
uh, but we'll be back November 28th and tickets still available though it, it will be packed out it was last year let's just have a little reminder of how cool last year was and the music is by Mr Urcha himself Second place to Brian Shaw is no shame at all. Magnificent. You pushed him all the way in the stones. Uh, do you think you could have, is there any mistakes you made today where you think you could have just clawed back a little bit and beaten him? No, it was, if I did do any mistakes, they were so small, so it wouldn't really made any bigger difference. You know, I gave everything I had. Maybe I fell through a little bit in the deadlift because I really gave everything I had there. And after the deadlift, it felt like I went into the wall a little bit, but I, apparently I had some energy left for the stones, but that was more about pride and prestige. I just had to, you know, do yeah. it. Well done, congratulations. That was a, a terrific performance. And you put under a bit of pressure today by, by our local boy, Johannes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I knew, uh, I knew coming in that Johannes would be tough. You know, he wants to put on, a, a, obviously, a good performance in front of his home crowd. And Strongest man finalist, so anytime you're going against the top top ten in the world and, and probably top five to be honest, like it's it's just one of those things that if I slip up a little bit, he can take it easily. If I slip up a little bit, he can take it easily. Officially strong, and uh, we have another guest who's just joined us all the way from Sweden. Nora Shopping, uh, Johannes Urha, and hopefully you can see the big screen uh, to my right here. Johannes Urha, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. And how are you guys? Good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all good. We got Mr. Lannas and Sadler here. We're good. We're good. Johannes, how are you? What happened good. to you here? What happened to you here? What happened to your head? Here, you're here, you're here. He's saying your head. My, my head, my head is big. My head is big. Yeah, it's, grown. It's, it's grown, it's twice the size since the last time I see it. He's serious? In a year, it grow double. No, I put, it puts 10 pounds on the telly, you know? Yeah, that's right, thanks Just Colin. on his head. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I assume you like it, you know, it's cute, cute so it's, you know, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, hey, so what's up, man? How's, how's, I mean, if, if, I guess a lot of people don't know, you actually went to World's Strongest Man. Tell us, tell us that fateful day, Johannes, when you were in the yard warming up the day before World's Strongest Man. You made the trek all the way to Malaysia, right? What happened? Yeah, I went down to the yard and uh, I did a really good and uh, a proper warm up because uh, 2010 I tore my Achilles in South Africa in the yard as well, so I didn't want to do that mistake again, but. Then I was lifting some barrels and uh, I don't know really how it happened, but it happened and I, and, uh, I managed to do a partial tear in my bicep. So, you know, that was more or less it, you know, I packed my bags and I went back home and that really sucked. So you, you, you were bitten by the iron serpent? 
<laughs> Apparently not, you know. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Did, did you get the Kaz chat? That's what I want to know. Did Kaz? Yes, I did get the Kaz chats. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Is it... <laughs> and it helped. It always helps, you know. Mm. So t tell us those, those words, those famous words, or is that like a secret code if you're in the club? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more that if you have if you have the iron serpent running through your veins and the iron dragon, you know, uh, you know, if you got that, you know, you're untouchable, you're invincible. Oh yeah, but you know, apparently I didn't have that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, you're just not the same man, Kaz is. Anyway, hey, uh, what's coming up in uh, Sweden in Nur shopping at the? The Stadium Arena, November 28th. Tell us a little bit about uh, how things are looking and what Swedes might might we see there in Giants Live. Yeah, the Swedes will be uh, the top three from Sweden's Strongest Man. And uh, the final of Sweden's Strongest Man is now this Saturday. And, um, and some other big names that will be there is Stefan Solvi. Peterson from Iceland that is making oh, his comeback. Really about, yeah. Yeah. Very and good. Uh, we will also have Terry Hollands, the big man from England. So there you have a few names that will be for sure uh, at the show. Uh huh. Oh, big Terry, of course, he came back for Europe. So did you see that? Came back in at the last minute. I mean, he's, he's yeah. still winning his battle with anorexia, Terry, which is good. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's huge. He's a big man, though. Yeah, bigger than, ever. bigger than that. He, he told me last week that he he went on a diet for two weeks and put three kilos off. That's <laughs> <laughs> Poor Terry. Ay, ay, ay. I think you might have frozen there, my man. Can you uh, can you hear us, Johannes? Uh, calling Johannes. Joe Hansen. Can you hear us, baby? Can you hear us? Yeah, you're back. We're back. Nice one. Sorry, we're, we're kind of using a lot of broadband. Uh, going out to millions of people worldwide. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's a bit tricky to get a hold of you. Uh, what are the events? Well, what, what, what's, well, maybe don't to give away all the events. What, what are the couple of events we're going to see uh, indoor shopping? For 100% it will be the deadlift for sure. Uh, the classic Atlas Stones will be there. And uh, probably some cake toss, you know. I think that was the... The favorite event, uh, if you ask the crowd that were there last year, you know, they love that one. And so that will for sure be there again. And um, then I'm going to try to throw in some new events, some cool stuff for the audience, you know, to do something new. Nice one. And if, just remind me, if you win Sweden's Strongest Man this weekend, how many, how many times did Magnus Samuelsson win it? He won it nine times. Nine? Altogether. Nine times. So how many would this make it? For you. Sorry? How many times would you make, would you win it if you win it this this coming weekend? Uh, then I would have won it seven times in a row. And uh, I have won it now six times in a row, obviously. And uh, that's a record, a Swedish record, because uh, I think Magnus only won it four times in a row, but it has nine total. Gotcha. So, so if I can get this one, it's seven in a row. And that's something I want to try to, you know, do, make, make it happen, you know. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. You look big though, so you're in shape. Yeah. Yeah, you look big. You can big. only see my huh? Yeah, let's, let's go, let's do this. Everybody want to see that. No? My head. Not your head, your abs. <laughs> I don't have an abs. You I don't, don't have abs. abs. No? I train a lot of abs right now. I don't know where I really He really does right now. He's, he's working with... Uh, I mean, she's hardcore, isn't she? Oh, she's, yeah, one of the hardcore person I ever met in my life. She is as well. She, yeah. she, he's working with, believe it or not. So my... I, I, I don't have abs either, but then she found them. Is he? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you Somewhere thought your abs were pretty good, but yeah, three yeah, days ago, yeah, yeah. you just giving her your own abs. She, yeah. She's a set of, I don't know how old she is. You don't know how old Sue is. No, I don't. She's no, a, don't, don't even say. <laughs> she's a former professional ballet dancer who went around the world, man. Yeah. She is tough as you like. She saved my back, and now I, I, I tried everything, little operations and stuff, and then, yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, Vitalis was really down, and, and I brought him over, so yeah, hopefully he'll be back. Oh, cool. yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm in a lot of pain right now, in a good way, you know? Yeah. She, she's 
she's beating my ass pretty well, you know. Yeah, you, I mean, you got sometimes you got to look to alternative stuff, you know. But, yeah. uh, and that brings me on to my uh, one question from one of uh, the viewers. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got a name attached to him. Yeah, my choking. I'm choking. More choking. My choking. <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> choking. He's on Instagram. I was gonna make some rude jokes there. Uh, uh, diet. How's your diet, Johannes? Has it changed since your injury? I'm not sure if he's suggesting you're looking out of shape or in shape, but he wants to know if your diet's. Uh, what, what, what do you do? I mean, is, is, are you different from the other guys so at the moment? Are you? Is body weight going up and down? What are you eating? I haven't changed anything for the last eight years, I think, you know. I eat when I'm hungry, you know, and I eat what I want to, but I just try to keep a good balance, you know. I always eat every third hour and stuff like that, but I never weigh my meals or, or anything like that, you know. I just make sure to get a lot of meat and a lot of good, a lot of good carbs, you know, like pasta, potatoes, and rice and stuff like that. So it's nothing complicated, you know. It's if you've been doing this for so long, you know, you can feel in your body, you know, when you had too much and when you had too, too little. So, you know, I don't have a really strict plan there, you know. What, what's body weight now? I think it's uh, maybe 155 kilos or something like that. Mm. Mm. So... We just yeah. had, we had Eddie on earlier. What, what's your thoughts on Eddie Hall? What do, what, what do you, where do you see... Uh, you know, besides the fact that it's incredibly impressive, where do you think he can take it? And do you think he's got the, uh, think he's got the gifts to now become world's strongest man as well? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, it's just amazing. You know the the results he's doing. You know in the deadlifts and he's so super static, strong. You know, so it's unbelievable. And and uh, he's also proved that he can move. You know, he's a good athletic. He's really athletic as well. You know, so it looks like he. He has the, the complete package, you know, and that's what you have to have to win more strongest man. And I think it will, if he can stay, you know, away from injuries and all that, you know, it will be just a matter of time, you know, before I pull it off, I think. Pulling one off, indeed. Anyway, I will leave you to pull one off, mate. No, <laughs> that's a terrible joke. Uh, we'll, let, we'll let you get back to your, to your lovely family there, mate. And uh, thank you very much for joining us, Johannes. And... We want to see you at Sweden's Strongest Man. Hopefully we can report on it. Maybe we'll, if we ever do one of these things again, if anyone has the yeah. energy for it, then we'll get you back on, find out how it went. And uh, certainly we'll see you in North Shopping, November 28th. Look forward to... Yeah, to make that. sure to be there if you're a big Strongman fan. Yeah. It's an awesome show. How do you get tickets for it? It's, it's, uh, it's tick, tick next dot. Yeah. It's S yeah, the, yeah, the tickets are all, already released and you can find them at... Uh, uh, Ticknet dot uh, se. And how do you say uh, how do you say your name? Now we're here. Hang right, on, before you say, how do you say Johannes's name? Say his surname. Surname Arcio. Say it loud. Arcio. Arcio. You go yeah. <laughs> Urha. Johannes. It's gone. Ah! Oh. Fuck, I broke my chair as well. <laughs> <laughs> no. well. Is he gone? Well, yeah, he's gone. No, he's, he's back. back. He's back. back. Right, yeah, hang on. Right, well, say, say it again to Darren first. How do you say it? Yeah. Ursha. No. Ursha? No. Uh huh. Ur Urha. You just copied me. Urha. Yeah. Got it. No? That's say a, I told you guys, if you just pronounce it like, if I would say in Swedish, it's Urha. Urha. Ooh, ha. That, looks, that looks nothing like Arse Joe, which is how it's written. No, but if I would say it in English, I would say Arse Show. Arse Show. And I'd say all the dots, you know, over the A's and the O's yeah, and but... stuff like that. It would be Arse Show. And, and in, in, in Sweden? It's Arse No, in Sweden it, it's Orcha, but we Urha. have all this, you know. So Sweden if I'll call you Orcha, that's fine. Yeah? It looked that brought the smiley. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Mr. Oh, Rahat, thank you very much. We wish you a uh, no. Good morning is guten moron, which is one of my favourite things to say to somebody. Good morning. Yeah, sweet. You just go good moron. You good moron. <laughs> <laughs> you just shout good moron at someone. Hey, good moron. <laughs> but, but why do you say good evening in Swedish? Uh, good sven. Good sven. Good <laughs> It's good kvel. Good kvel. Good kvel. Good. Well, from uh, our show to our show. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that. Take care. Thank you, guys.
that was a dreadful link, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> right, we're we'll just taking a couple of questions. I think we're going to do a wee bit of Reddit. Uh, I think Mr. Lalas wants to go to bed. He's hungry to go out as well. Uh, do, do we have any questions, dude? Questions for Lalas? Shout him out. Question was originally for Lalas. Oh, it's for Lalas. I, I beg your pardon, Mr. Marcho. Okay, let's bring some more stuff in. So, got, what would you do differently this time? Just what would you do differently this time? What would you do differently this time from Ray in Scotland? Thanks for watching, no, Ray. Hmm? Second name, Ray Scotland. Oh, no, Ray. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. <laughs> Ray, from wherever you are, Ray Scotland, nice to meet you. And what would you do differently this time? In, was that to do with. After your injury, what would you do differently now? Oh, now. So you know, ah, yes, now. good question. Ah, after the injury, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Lots of guys don't really stretch. And I know how important, but the key is to do stretching right. Because just stretching, you have to resist your stretching. There is lots of stuff that you need to work on. And I think that's that's the that's the thing that I have to do right now, just to work on my stretching. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Nice one. Excellent. Next question. Can't read that. How are you doing there? Uh, <laughs> something else. How are you fixing your back? How are you fixing your back? What's the key to? Because I imagine like everybody, you go to the local doctors. I got a bad back. He says yes. Yeah. It takes I, a pain. I, 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 what do you do? I, what, what are you like trying? I like I said, I tried everything. I tried everything apart from operation, and I don't think that's an answer anyway. I think just that's a bad call to anybody to do that. Go for it, unless you're dealing with the top doctors in the world, you know. And uh, I don't think that I'm that bad, and I don't think that I need operation. I just my problem is my core. It's just too weak. That's it. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not all about abs, is it? It's, it's, no, it's the whole package. The right? whole package. All, all the muscles have to be engaged when you train and when you do your competition and stuff like that. And if one of them go, more likely they'll, the, 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 a lot of them will go, and then you're gonna support yourself with these bigger muscles that you normally train, and these small muscles will switch off, and then mm -hmm. the problem starts to get. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's really close to my heart, which is why Vitalis is here. <laughs> Seeing somebody who, <clears throat> for 10 years, I, I couldn't, um, I was told not to lift uh, any weights off the ground. And then after six or seven years, I slipped on to painkillers and all that, and the pain clinic, and had all these things burnt and cortisone injections. And, That's do you know thing. what? One day I just woke up and I was I went in a yoga camp. I tried the, the lot, and I'm sure you've tried just yeah, about everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to get an operation and then the neurosurgeon, he wouldn't do it. Then I saw the top guy in Britain and he said, do you want to know what the disc insertion operation is called? They were going to cut you open, remove your guts to the side and put in discs and then we'll replace them every 10 years. And I thought, do you know what? I'm not in that much pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave this strong man career. Yeah, you know, so I mean, just, yeah. So I, I, well, sometimes what makes you, makes you wrong makes you right. If you sort of know what I mean in a weird yeah. way. Don't, uh, don't always You just have on. to write the right person that looking after you. If you compete at a high level, I think every professional athlete has that person, you know? Don't look for just a quick back no, either. No, that was uh, yeah. my answer as well. I thought I'd just go in into the chiropractic, he'll crack me up and bam, 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 I'll back in an action. It's not the case. It's mostly when you deal with muscles and nerves, it's a very, very long process. And to recover after that, I think it takes probably a couple of years or even less it depends on the person mm. and you often get you often get things you know about pad pains in my knees I'm talking yeah. to my back you yeah. think you're breaking down completely yeah, 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 yeah. and then that makes you do something different before you know it yeah, yeah. I, I you have, do something else, you do have, something else I have a couple of um, uh, girls actually in my gym as well they come in and you can sort of see straight away that the posture is wrong and you're saying your neck is a bit like out and she's like I bet you have tight hamstrings she's like how the hell do you know that like just because everything is connected. So your hamstring side because your head is forward, because you're all day spinning on the computer and your posture then it's gone, you know? Mm. And they surprise when I tell them that. And when you correct them and say, well, oh, I feel a bit better, you know, when you start going to training. So it's good to help normal people as well. Two questions here. <clears throat> one quick one. Will you, will you uh, ever release a video on how to build up those guns? Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll actually do that. How big are they? Do we know? Or should oh, we take them no, in no, no. It's, we'll get to that. It's, it's, it's a secret right now. <laughs> it's a secret. Right now. It's going to be 
Is it silicon? Who knows? I don't no, know. Man. No, 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 there's no, a secret, no, is there? No, no, it does some wobble. Look, oh, yeah, baby. Sorry. All right, well, we'll find out. We'll try and uh, maybe do a little filming with uh, Vitalis. So yeah. you can get the yeah. secrets behind the Iron Curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive yeah. guns. Uh, we got another question here from Xlax Bros. Xlax Bros. Hey, fellas. Uh, training stones as a sort of guy. But I don't know you really. <laughs> I mean, there's not many in the in the sub six foot club at World's Strongest Man, and you both have. Uh, no, I mean, they've both... changed it now, but I mean, we we both struggle with the first stone yeah. at World's Strongest Man. Me, Vitaitis, uh, and and Jimmy Marker, because everyone else obviously was a lot a lot taller than us, uh, could all lift the heavy stone, but by the time you bloody one above your head. Um, so what I used to do was I used to actually literally do that. I used to get a hundred kilo stone and just press it, um, and that, and that. You know that that helped, but uh, since I stopped competing at World so much, I've lowered the walls and you as well. They, they, they brought them all yeah. down now, which is a bit fairer. They've actually made the stones heavier, but lowered the walls, which would suit us better. Uh, my technique would be different one than yours. I would try to like throw it up in the air and catch. It. You know, like as much as I can, as fast as I can. You know, otherwise. I think when you do that, the stone can slip, and when you sort of throw it in here and catch it and place it there, I think it's a bit faster and uh, it mm. makes more sense to. You know? To be <coughs> to be fair, though, fellas, uh, I mean you're both what I don't know between five ten and six foot, yeah. right? Who, uh, who knows exactly? But neither of you have a, a small wingspan, do you? And stone lifting is very dependent, also I think, on having big long arms. Yeah. So if you've got the arms of a six foot six man. On, on a six foot body, it's not a bad thing to have. Look at, look at Ahola. You know, Ahola, I mean, that, he could pull his socks up without bending over. You know? <laughs> and he, you know, he could knock out a few stones. I mean, it certainly helps. You know, you buy a mechanics, it's not all about height, you had long backs, short backs. You know? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's like I used to, I used to think, you know, people said, oh, well, it's unfair, the stone's for you. But well, we've got less, less to deadlift or less to press. You know what I mean? It's just life, and there's nothing you can do about it. You're the height you are. So you're either give up or, or get on with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're not going to get any taller now, I don't think. No, but that's what <laughs> I sort of try to prove everybody as well. And I was just that much to the World Strongest Man of 2012 that the guys under six foot can do well as well. You yeah. know, I'm five foot ten and I uh, you know, of, I mean, always I mean, try to prove that. I mean, obviously, there's, there's a bit of a committee that help organize the events. <clears throat> And uh, I'm on that committee, and, and it was and it was it was a resounding we must cut the, the the stone platforms down. And in a way, funnily enough, the one event I kind of thought it was still a bit of a problem because of the length of the power stairs and the height of them. I thought that was a problem. I was, yeah, sorry, man. We're having a go because you, I, I'm, I'm going. That's it. No, but I mean, <laughs> no, but I, I, and I'm not because you, oh, you obviously oh, came oh. down to him and Z on the power. But this, that's why I'm saying we, we should yeah, change it. I, mean, I, but I remember that. But, I bet you're going to quote what I'm going to quote. What happened yeah. this year at Worlds? I mean, the, the thing is, with power stairs... Uh, in fact, we can't give away the results, can we? No. No, but with, with power stairs in general, I was always fine with it. But I, I twice while I was competing, I came across power stairs that were physically impossible for me. Yeah. And so it's okay, power stairs are fine, but if it's physically impossible, that's not fair. Like, literally, where you lift it up and it won't go on the step, you've got to swing it and then mm. push it on, whereas everyone else was lift it up. You know... Power stairs are absolutely fine. I've done some great, and so have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can lift it up. Yeah, if you can lift it up, that's no problem. Because mm. uh, in 2013, I actually uh, I trained power stairs a little bit, and then went in into the Italian competition. It was normal, if someone's you know like just to lift one, and I smashed it. Mm. You know, if you can lift it, that's not. It's not deadly for reps, really. Yeah, you know? yeah, it is. Yeah. It is I mean, it is deadly for reps, but a world song is mad. And, and we won't give away any results, but you know, this year there was a deadlift for reps, and then the next day there was also uh, a power stairs, and I think me for one and you for two probably thought a Mr. T and a Mr. B would probably <laughs> be a Mr. Z, but it didn't necessarily happen like that. Yeah, Mr. No. Z gives away quite a few inches to Mr. Yeah. B and Mr. T. Yeah. Uh, but then again, he has got wild power. Mr. Z power. is Mr. Z. You know? Mr. Z <laughs> is Mr. Z. Yeah, so I think we'll probably finish off that, just yeah. paying homage to Mr. Z. Yeah. I'm sure he's at home, YouTubing away, yeah. uh, whatever. Um, but uh, thank you very much, uh, anyone who tuned in. Uh, we'll repeat it again on YouTube. 
whether we'll repeat officially strong, uh, well, please let us know if you think we should, or how we can improve it, what we could do, positive, negative. Um, yeah, please you know, give it to us all. We're trying to branch out. We're trying to do more. Uh, Chris, help me out here. What is the best ways? Twitter, I'm at GiantsLiveWSM. I'm not so good at replying to Sonny. Darren is at... WSM, Darren Sunday. The other way around. Other way around yeah. you, you, do you do Twitter? No, not Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram <laughs> and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. And if you want to get to him, he's in Kilkenny. Yeah. You can go pay homage to the great Lalas, but you'll be back next year. Don't you wait and see. And this... Yeah. Uh, Brother gonna be competing soon. James is waving his fingers at me, James. At off strongman. At off strongman. At off strongman for Twitter, official strongman Facebook. We start a Facebook group as well, which as you join, hopefully, officialstrongman.com, you will be uh, sort of invited into that. Um, and it's very much uh, us trying to give everybody uh, a chance for the things that we help steer. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Any last things? Uh, official Strongman on Instagram as well. Official Strongman on Instagram as well. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to uh, my buddy here, Mr. Darren Sandler, my partner in crime, and uh, uh, my partner in rhyme, Mr. <laughs> Vitalis Lalas. Cheers, dude. And I think probably from everyone here, we sincerely hope you uh, uh, get back on the world stage and we see your happy, smiling oh, face. Well. Uh, We're going back, yeah? <laughs> Two of us. I don't know about that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll be Ooh. back. Great stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.